Look at this old fucking whatever it is here. Hold us, fuck this. And from Bury watching. Yes, Bury, what's going down? I don't think anyone is watching from Bury. So, yeah, this is it here, look. No way, it's fucking here. I hope you're still watching, Janet, because we just found it. Is this it? This is it! Yes, I fucking get in! So I was supposed to be in work, I got sent home because, you know, there weren't enough wagons, so there was no work for me today. So I thought before I go home, I might as well shoot a video. So I seen something yesterday I want to, well, I think it's worthy of a video, so we're going to go down now, um, have a look at Sacker Track 6. Um, what else is it? Yeah, so um, we're going to start off by the old Bradley Full train station and just going to have a little walk up and a little explore, really. I mean, I've not had time to do this, so I'm looking for any hot spots where I can come back and we can kick off an investigation because this is what I've really got to do is to walk the area first in the day look for anything that looks suspicious and then come back in the day and find any hot spots so I'll show you Bradley Fold um, so you can see around this is in, obviously like I mentioned, this is in Bury and this is the old Bolton and Bury train line that's now a footpath for the ones that have followed me for a while, you'll know that I did cycle track night too. But yeah, we'll, um, we'll get a bit closer. So this is what Bradley Fall looks like. No. <sighs> so I don't actually know what that was. I've got no idea. I don't think it's anything to do with the train station light, but again, I'm not sure. Um, I'm sure there'll be people around here that know. No idea. Bury's littered with this cycle track. Um, cycle track six, I could say. It's a fucking god. It's that big, I can't. Just, literally, I could do six months and come make video every, like, twice a week and I still won't cover it. Cause it's fucking massive and it goes off in different directions. So we'll have a little walk around now. Instead of just going home, I thought I'd walk home with a bit of content, so I'm not coming home empty handed. So I've not got up for nothing really, so we'll have a look at this uh, this track now. So that's a good boat shop that I've just passed there. It's pretty busy like, but... So to the right hand side, yeah, is the old Bradley Fold train station. So that's the old rail track there. And this is the uh, the old railway line, whatever's left of Bradley Station, I believe. So if you can see anything that's, any foundations are out. There's only really this building, but it doesn't look like it's, it's from the 1920s. I'm assuming that space is where the station used to be. This here. This must have been it here. In fact, you can get in, that's alright, isn't it?
so there's not much to it really you just walk through and all the overgrowth would have been the, the train station whatever so have a walk down the uh, the path look that's just years of overgrowth let's have a walk down the path now I'll use some of the tube and we'll see what comes out So if you know nothing of Bradley Fold, this is it really. Um, this, if you knew what I knew, but obviously I started to do my research and you can see Bradley Fold, uh, uh, Bolton's obviously behind it. Uh, but this is the remains, but obviously there is some information there at the bottom. I'll just read it to you. From the 8th of September 1969, Bradley Fold became an unstaffed station. In 1970, the Ministry of Transport, uh, I'm going too fast actually, Fred Mully, it was called, yeah, approved the proposal to withdraw the passenger service between Bury and Rochdale. Notice was given to all passenger services would be withdrawn effects from 5th of October 1970 and the last train to go from Bradley Fold to Rochdale was at 2007 service to Rochdale. Sometimes this is what you have to do to get a good night video, you've got to come in a day, have a look around and people don't really like the day videos, they just want to see the night videos but to get a good night video you've got to come here in a day so yeah right so obviously the, the track would have come down here I doubt the road would have been here then early 1920s so it's about it's not even 8 o'clock in the morning yet so we'll have a little walk down here So this is for history really, uh, I won't say it's more paranormal but I use my paranormal equipment to understand more about the past. So we can see if we can see anything that's got any kind of relevance. So we use a tube, now it's supposed to have some new stuff in the tube so you're supposed to wear words like if it's a whisper it'll come through like a whisper. If it's like a female, you should get some kind of like female voice. I've only used it once and it said come closer, so, and I was like, um, is it, is it backward? See, I didn't really hear that one. Let me turn that up. What's backward? That's a magnet ping. Which is kind of weird, which is saying it's right in front of me. Keep walking anyway. That's what we're looking for, really, is magnetism. Oh no, magnetism. So I can't really get the source of that, it looks like it's somewhere around here. Anyway, let's keep walking. So he's, he's, that's what you're looking for, is he's magnetism with no explanation. So maybe there was a crash here or something happened here or whatever before the station. It's quite a busy cycle track there so we'll have to look out for cyclists, more magnetism. My baby. <clears throat> no worries pal. So that looks to be where they dug the track out there. You can just see where it's, you know, it's going up, and we've had to dig, dig the, um, dig the track out. That magnetism's all over. This is quite often this for a cycle track, where the magnetism's quite high. So I'll try and put some snippets in, so we can find something in the Boltonbury rail track. But obviously they, they had to do work, Bury Council, to make this track. No worries, pal. Right, so we've got a bridge here. I seen this the other day, actually. So I wanted to go underneath it. So this is branch off in two ways, or what? Right, so they probably put the car. 
cigar, they probably put that in to um, so you could get in. I don't know, double track, but I'm not. You like to smoke, yeah. So what we'll do, we'll lit the box, see if we can get the train sounds. As this usually happens in and around this area, as trains tend to slow down. Pretty cool bridge if you ask me. This would be a nice spot if it's raining. Look at the black with the green moss here. Just all sludgy and shit, innit? Yeah, it's crazy to think a train man through here. Let's see what the SLS does. I don't there'll be any mappings in, but you never know. But you could you could tell how spooky it'd be at night time, it'd be pretty sick if you ask me. nothing to explain what he stood on, if you get me. We've got nothing at the minute which is good. Waiting for a beat or some kind of fucking half figure or whatever. We've got some pictures on it. So that's it, that's it. It's all right, mate, don't worry. So you can see the person's mapping in, the person that walked past then, and it's getting like figures mapping in here, which I think are with me, I don't think it's to do with the track, but it's hard to, it's hard to tell. But we've got some pictures anyway around here, so. More mapping, and I can just hear them mapping, you know, just mapping in. So eventually we come to some farm after that railway thing. There was too many houses, too much bullshit around, so I have to this is when it starts to I can show it starts to show you shit again. So I should pick up the trail any minute. So this is supposed to be more of the trail here, or more of the track, or cycle track six. So this should get me on there um I'm trying to make my way back to Bury now. Man. Man. Do you know his name? No? So if I just keep following this track here, yeah, it should put me back on track, if you get me. Look at the black cows. Pure British beef here, right there. That one's got a dollar per cow shit on its side. <laughs> That's magnetism coming from absolutely nowhere. So again, I'll cut it here because there's not much really to show you. There's not much to show you really, so I'll cut it here and hopefully we'll get some features moving forward. Maybe a bridge or whatever. But um, yeah, if we do this walk, I'll know exactly where to come at night time. As, um, obviously it's summer at the minute and you know. Uh, Frightened. 
frightened. So that was a different reply that I usually get because obviously the tube's a bit more modernised now. So I'm not getting the replies I'd like, but this is because the moon face is too low. So I'm just coming here as like a little scouting thing, you know what I mean? But this is definitely a random arc tackle to bring you up this footpath here. <coughs> so yeah, like I say, I'll put it here and then we'll see what we can show you. Right, so we're approaching another bridge, which is here. So we finally got something to show you really. It just looks like a normal bridge, but it's, it just looks like tidied up basically. So we have to, like, I'm not trying to suggest that there's, there's paranormal activity here, but I'm using my paranormal equipment to, to try and understand history more. In this case, it's audio. I want audio from the past. Some people get confused sometimes and they think that I'm looking for ghosts in a day and it's not the case, it's history of this. You see the iron girders. So in them iron girders will be trapped sounds and stuff what I can get usually. Better on a full moon but that's probably a sound of an echo of a train or whatever. part of the track really as I really think Randy Norton could be really good uh, in, in on this rail track it'll pick out certain points of interest so obviously the cycle track goes up here and what you're looking for is stuff like that two ballads and it should say cycle track six so obviously it goes into an housing estate now so I'm not gonna um, I'm not gonna film going in because I don't need to be fat Let's see if we can get up there. No. That's it really, that's where the train would come. Lower down, whatever. And that's the main road over there. So we'll go back down, carry on for any more sights that I can show you. It's quite windy as well, so I can only apologise. We'll cut it here anyway. So here we are. Another helicopter for you, something to show you. It looks like the other ambulance. Well, I can't tell. Usually yellow, aren't they? The air ambulances. So, anyway, it's down here. Um, I can't make out what that is. I don't think that's Salford or Manchester over there. I mean, actually, no, it could be Blackburn, that for, I'm not sure. It's just fucking magnetism. Magnetism, I can't make much sense of it. I think that's a farmer over there in the field. You want to come communicate and uh, leave some leave some words. No. All right, we'll keep walking and see if see if get anything to show you. But it should take me back into the residence, which is over there. You should see the houses, um, and then we should be almost in Bury then. So after the rail track, there's not really much to show you, so we're going to go to Tentman Tower and I'll show you the rest of that to end the video. I don't really remember walking up and down the rail track with nothing to show, like no features about, so we'll just finish the video at Tentman Tower. So I'll be there in about 20 minutes or something. So I finally arrived in Ramsbottom. Um, so we're going to go to this Tentman Tower. Now near this Tentman Tower, there's like a bulk of, of great places to go. One of them's Robin Hood's wealth, but to be honest, that's a separate video. I'd love to come there at night. Should have gotten that bus really. <laughs> anyway, I'll show you around Ramsbottom. So this is Ramsbottom. So Ten Twin Tower is probably about a quarter of a mile away. 
So we're going to have a nice little walk through Ramsbottom. There's lots of paper factories around here, so it's great for history. Um, I don't really like what else to say, but we'll get to Tentering Tower, we'll finish the video off, and then that'll be another video of Bury Done. As I'm looking at doing 20 videos here. So anyway, I'll cut here and then get a bit closer. We just found a good spot here. I think it's something to do with this rain station or whatever. So this is obviously, that's the main road over there where I've just come from. And this is obviously some kind of tunnel. Must be a train tunnel. Of uh, where the train used to come through. That's what we're covering today, old train tracks. And this would be good in here to do uh, EVP. See if you can get any sound. What? I heard that, it's like a whisper. Do you see the, the word at the bottom? It's the ghost tube's different now. Where um, it's a bit quieter, because that's how you like to come across. But yeah, we've got fenced off um, old train tunnel. It's all right, isn't it? Definitely worth coming in here when it's dark. No doubt about it. One of the Rams Bottoms um, little tunnels here. It doesn't seem to be that tall either, to be honest. Tall enough to get training. Anyway, we'll carry on to Tentering Tower, but I wanted to show you this quickly. Right, so after the tunnel, um, Tentering Tower is 300 yards down here. So what we've got is quite a lot of history that we've already seen. This wall's obviously been here for fucking probably 100 plus years. So this gives me some kind of idea on... You know what, what it could possibly... Well, we know the Tentering Tower used to be a paper... A paper mill or whatever. Something to do with paper. But the point I was trying to make... Was it goes to show like the history of Ramsbottom and Bury. And Ramsbottom and Bury really don't get much coverage. And some of these areas are better than Rochdale. So, we'll carry on anyway. And get to Tentering Tower. I'm going to come back and then carry on the vid like carry on and get to Robin Hood's well too. So some dude just told me yeah, carrying up the road, yeah. And it's up here, you go around some path and some footbridge, but there's two parts of the fucking road. Um so I've got no doubt it's up here. So the ro the road forks off in two different directions, so I'm assuming he meant go up the road which is here. It's a little fucking house here, like. Right, so what I'm going to do is, um, is this a path? What's going on about now? <sighs> so I actually don't know where I'm going. So the Tentering Tower is fucking pretty difficult to find, so I went up there, it was the wrong way. So that took me, cost me probably about half hour. So now I have to come back and go around. <sighs> if I knew these things beforehand. But this is the first, do you know when you come to do a video and you know, you come for the first time, you're gonna make mistakes. And this is so you can, when you come back second time, you, you know what you're doing. Yeah, what the fuck's this over here? Check this out. I don't even know what this is, you know. Was it a cycle track route? Right. Well, anyway, Tentering Tower. So you can find it. Now, the reason I'm doing this is if you want to come to Tentering Tower, you don't make the same mistake I did. Don't go that way, don't go towards the Lavender, Lavender Hills. Hold on a minute. Right, so I think it's this way. There's a lot of ruins or something as well. So this is my second attempt to try and find. Oh, here we are. I thought I was gonna have to climb over that wall. But it's up here, I think. This, this looks promising now. So the old folk said, you've got to come this way. 
up and above the Melbex, Melbex, what the fuck am I going on about? The Melba factory. Anyway, I'll cut it here and we'll get a bit closer. As it's looking promising already with some big uh, some big structures. So I decided to go live in front of a breakfast audience on TikTok. Uh, so I'll either fail or succeed live in front of an audience. So um, here we go, live on TikTok. Let's find this ten twin tower that I don't actually know where it, where it is. I think it's up here. So there are actually people joining the live that I actually speak to. It's not that I'm speaking to myself. Yes, Wayne. What's happening? What's going on, brother? You good? Hopefully not working too hard, lad. show you around here. One sec guys, I'll just flip the camera so you can see. So you're not looking at me. down here What's happening guys, you good? It's going after this uh well I don't know actually because it's it's like a it's like some kind of fucking old old tower whatever. So I'm assuming I'm going the right way because I actually know where I'm going. So, yes man, I think it's somewhere down here, a little day explore, a little morning explore for you all, when we get to the point. So I'm assuming it's down here. It's fucking in the middle of nowhere, this fucker. <sighs> so that's the waterfall I've seen. Gotta be up here. Bees at work, so I think there's a beehive up there. I think they charge seven quid a, a finger, a jar. guys so we're getting this this we're in Bury at the minute in Ramsbottom so we're after uh, we're after this tent in tower whatever it's called we actually don't know where it is
So I've gone past it. We're looking for like a little reservoir. This is the thing when you're trying to find somewhere that you know you've not been before. So Can be a bit frustrating sometimes. So it's back here somewhere. Hey, Wayne, do you know about this tent ring tower? You must know because you're from that area, aren't you? <coughs> you ever heard of it? Got me round here. Morning, Janet. You're right. <coughs> How are you? Are you well? So I'm gonna go down here and have a look because I can't fucking see it. It's got me round here somewhere. waterfall for y'all. So where that water's going, I need to find out where it's going because that's where the tower is. Hopefully we don't slip and fall. I can't see it, there's too much fucking shit anyway. This, this, this is impossible to, I know it's here, fucking, I know it's here. It's impossible almost to find. I know, yeah, um, I'm in Bury at the minute in Ramsbottom. I'm trying to find this tent in terror to finish off my video. So I started up Bradley Fold, which is like the old railway line. Um, I'll put some videos up in a bit. But I thought I'd start doing more lives because my YouTube's doing shit at the minute. It's fucking pointless to be honest. I might as well give up on YouTube. It's not giving me what I want. No, I just check my maps where I am because I'm in the middle of fucking nowhere here. Right, so if I find this I'll be fucking buzzing. Yeah, if I don't find it, I don't find it. I'm quite high up at the minute, as you can tell, that's like some, some business down there, whatever. Fingers crossed, yeah, nice one, Janet. Hopefully you're well. So I think there's like beehives and shit up there where they do, where they have bees and that, whatever. So, yeah. I'm glad I'm recording, actually, because if I find it and I stop the live, then for the people that see the video when I've done it, you know, they'll be like, that's what you was looking for. Now, I can only assume that's some kind of fucking electrics cupboard or whatever, but that's definitely not it. So we said, follow the foot. My maps is telling me it's up here. Look at this old fucking, whatever it is here. Hold us, fuck this. Anyone from Bury watching? Yes, Bury, what's going down? I don't think anyone is watching from Bury. So, yeah, this is it here, look. No way, it's fucking here. I hope you're still watching, Janet, because we just found it. Is this it? This is it! Yes I fucking get in! Yes! 
This is what we're after. Look at it in the middle of fucking nowhere. This is what we wanted. So you're seeing it as, as, as I'm seeing it. So we'll have a look in here. Nice one for staying in alive, it was worth it. Look at this bad boy. Yes! There's fucking few ghosts in here, what do you reckon? I've got no mappings in at this time, apart from my bag. We've got a spooky bag there, look. A little ghost in the bag. Beautiful place. Uh, yeah, that's obviously part of the part of the structure. Again, more part of the structure, I think. I don't know what them slats were for. There must have been like a second floor, or whatever, and the beams came across. I could only imagine. So we'll try some of the box. Hannah, can you hear my voice? You can put your voice in this frequency and you want and I'll be able to hear it. Flat. Flat. I'll be able to slow it down and stuff. I know what you're saying. Hold chain. Flat. That's nice, Hannah, for you to leave your voice. Can you say your name? You trapped. I'm on one of them. You get some good sounds at the minute, considering um, the moon face is so low. Who else is here? There's very many here. Do you know what year it is? The year is 2023. So I tried the tube before and it failed. So it, obviously I missed coming here because he was telling me she was called Hannah. Hopefully I've still recorded it, but obviously I went to change like I just did them from POV and it fucking failed. So when it fails, it usually means there's something trying to sabotage your, uh, your recordings. All the energy is too high and, and it just fucks with your equipment because it's too sensitive. So anyway, if this video gets 10 likes, yeah, I'll carry on doing content. I won't take a break, but I won't get 10 likes and never get 10 likes for YouTube. YouTube won't give me fuck all, like. <laughs> I'll let me do a TikTok live, then I got more than 100 likes straight away. And then YouTube won't give me fucking 10 likes, never mind fucking 100. And I was only live for a few minutes. Get some pictures anyway off of Google and then we'll, we'll go from there. So we'll try to see her. So we're hoping for some, something to do with some paper or something of that nature. As we stand on top of the uh, Tentering Tower. I bet you just fucking pure wildlife around here, like, you know, rabbits and shit, deers and all that tackle. Can you come and draw me a picture, Hannah, please? And you can describe to me whatever you want. No, no pictures, Hannah. This this device allows you to drop. There we go. Thank you. We've got some candles, so it looks like some kind of seance, or whatever. And maybe they didn't have power, and they needed candles. And even if you didn't, yeah, I think they'd be great to come in here and do some candle shit with a book, yeah? 
come in here with the book and do some candle shit, put some candles around the book or whatever, and we'll, we'll see what happens. So maybe Hannah was religious and she liked candles. So we're gonna finish uh, on the seer as this video has took, probably took me from eight o'clock this morning and it's probably about half past 10 now. So that's like two and a half hours of finding this place and trying to come across with the um, history of um, Bury, Ramsbottom, Tentering Tower. There'll be other places too, but for a picture. Not pictures. <laughs> <laughs> right, pal. So that's the tower, obviously, as we're leaving. We're hoping for a picture, but we're not getting one. The ghost tube, I can't even get back into it. Hello. All right. Little, uh, little puggy there as we leave Tentering Tower with no pictures. So we had the candles, and that was obviously prompting us to come back and use candles at Tentering Tower. Which I don't think would be a bad idea, to be honest. To ring the book and some candles and let's get it on in Tentering Tower. All alone in the fucking darkness. What's this now? We've got a picture. What is it? It's all green and shit. Maybe that looks like uh, looks like Tentering Tower, that, to be honest. With a load of fucking vine on it and shit. You know what I mean? That's a good picture, if you ask me. Fucking thumbs up for that. That's the end of video. On a fucking little viney video with uh, Tentering Tower. That, that's what it looks like. Well, to me, it looks like, you know, obviously there's there's trees and stuff. It's a good picture, that, by the way. If you drew that picture, that's fantastic. And if that was Hannah, that's a great picture. Well done. Well done to you. Anyway, that's how we're going to end the video. Um, yeah, man. Hopefully you can you can prove me wrong and get give me 10 likes and I'll continue with, with my content and won't take a break. But I think, personally, a break's needed as, um, you know, October's coming, Spooktober's coming. And people really like, you know, speak of content in October. Anyway, that's it from me, Tentwin Tower. Uh, peace for now. See you soon.